What a beautiful sunset to see us off from Sanibel Island. Sorry, I'm gorgeous. Heading to Key West. We kind of ran out of Sanibel, like our hair was on fire. We both were like, you want to go to Key West tonight? Yeah, let's do it. Um, we were going to wait a few days, but we're headed to Key West. And um, this will be one of our last overnight sails until we're past the Bahamas. in no time flat making this speed. Yeah. We're averaging about seven and a half knots. Sometimes getting up over eight. We got eight and eight point eight earlier. The water is getting greener and greener as we get more south. It's like an aqua blue now. We're pulling into Key West right now and we're going right in front of a cruise ship and they come over the radio and say, cruise ship ready to depart and then blow their big old horn. And so we're going really slow because we're scared. We're not scared. I'm scared. We're not going slow. <laughs> you pulled giving, it back. We are giving them a, a wide we're, Yeah, we're giving them a wide berth. Berth. There it is. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Look at this sailboat. Look at this sailboat. All the 1700s. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Don't run us down, cruise ship. Very, very crowded anchorages here in Key West, Florida. Just gotta find a spot and drop it. The anchorage here is so crowded and we're feeling a little sketched out. The only place to get in is within not even a hundred yards of the next boat. I mean, that's the biggest open area we could find, so. Uh, we're gonna go in the dinghy and try to scout out another anchorage. We've looked all through Active Captain. There just does not seem to be a good option, like at all. Every single anchorage has like three stars and everyone's like, I drug all night long. I was on top of the other boats just doesn't seem to be a good option. Our search for an alternative anchorage only turned up several washed up derelict boats that brought us no comfort whatsoever, except for the crabs that were painted on them. We decided to stay put and our anchor held well all night long. Chris just made us some really scrumptious breakfast and now we are gonna go into Key West and spend our first full day exploring Key West. We're gonna go to the southernmost point of the United States and be extra touristy. The dinghy situation here in Key West is ludicrous. Yeah, it's all right. This you have the, to pay. This is the sole spot to park your dinghy. And you just have to shove your way in here. The pelicans don't want anything to do with them. We are approaching the southernmost tip of the United States. Southernmost point in the United States. Continental, that is. <laughs> Wait till they leave. Wait. We don't want to wait in the line. What say you about the southernmost point? It was awesome. Did we wait in line? No. <laughs> we ain't about that. After getting our obligatory photo taken at the southernmost point, we headed to enjoy the sunset celebration that occurs every night at Mallory Square. Check out this little rooster uh, mohawk. That thing is gnarly. You know why I've never messed it up before of the year? Because I've never tried it. <laughs> Of Mallory Square? Yeah. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff. A lot of vendors. 
Very a lot of action. Here. A lot of people. Our main mission today is to get Zoe to a beach. She has been really, really cooped up. So we're going to search for one. It looks like there's not a lot of beaches that allow dogs in Key West. So it might be a bit of a challenge, but we're going to make it happen either way. No dogs allowed. Sorry, Zoe. Let's go find your beach, Zoe. Dog beach. We are here. Zoe's so excited. Did you find some friends, Zoe? <laughs> so we've learned that Zoe loves shredding coconuts. Not sure why. It's your ball. Today is our last day here in Key West and we're gonna try to go get in the water because we're both really itching to do so. It has been too cold so far, but we're thinking today is the day because it is uh, pretty hot and I think the sun is gonna warm up the water enough to where we can really enjoy ourselves and not freeze to death. So we're gonna go give it a shot. Perfect with your little walrus mustache you have going on. of anything. No. Saw a conch with a little fiddler crab in it. Yeah. And the a couple of sea urchins. The clarity was pretty terrible. But we got to swim and it wasn't too cold. It was, it was refreshing. A, yeah, it was a shock at the beginning but you definitely got used to it. I'm glad we got to swim. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No more. Let's go. Watching the sun come up with my coffee and then we are going to prep the boat and we are heading off to Marathon. All right, it's our last morning here in Key West and uh, we're gonna set out for Marathon. But as you can tell, it's a beautiful morning on anchor. Pretty still. Join us next time as we set sail for Marathon, Florida celebrate Chris's birthday, and enjoy some crystal clear water while we prepare for our Gulf Stream crossing. It's getting hot in here. He lives on a pineapple under the sea. Sponge man! 